I think there's first the part of understanding the value that it's going to drive for the organization, but then second, the total cost of ownership for RPA that needs to be explored and understood. Let's come back to that first point. What kind of value does RPA drive within the organization? When I first started working with oil and gas companies specifically, it was all about what is the cost efficiency that we can gain with RPA. So how can we reduce work so we can have people do other things? However, it's really evolved in the past year especially to be more about how do we make sure the right controls are in place? How can we create better value for our customers and improve customer satisfaction? Or even how can organizations generate more value and revenue with RPA? So understanding what an RPA needs to create in terms of value to the organization is the first part of that business case that needs to be explored. The second piece is the total cost of ownership. RPA is not complex technology to implement. It's fairly straightforward and almost rather commoditized when you think about building an RPA. However, what people neglect sometimes is what does it cost to manage and support an RPA after it's been implemented. There are varying costs. For example, you still need somebody to manage the bot. You still need someone to apply software patches to the bot. If something changes, for example, in your SAP system, it will also need to change in the coding of the bot. That support for an RPA has to be articulated and understood to be able to get the complete view of a business case.